dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we are going to discuss something very much special about English grammar. Yes dear friends, it's regarding adverb. As you know adverb is a very very important component of our sentence construction and today we are going to teach you about a very important part of English grammar and let's see what's this. This is adverb placement. So what's adverb placement? An important component of English sentences to keep a close eye on. So we must keep a close eye, we must whistle a lot to decide where to put an adverb to create a very effective sentence. So let's begin our discussion about the placement. So the first of the discussion is adverb placement initial position. So where do uh, an adverb occur in a sentence? There are three different positions where an adverb may occur. And the first of them is initial position. So what is initial position? Adverb placement at the beginning of a clause or a sentence is referred to as a initial position. So when the adverb is placed at the beginning of a sentence. So let's uh, find out which are the adverbs which we put at the beginning of a sentence. They are connecting adverbs. What are connecting adverbs? Yes, we must learn is first what is connecting adverb. Initial position adverb placement is used when using a connecting adverb to join a statement to the preceding clause or sentence. It's important to remember that these connecting adverbs take adverb placement at the beginning of a phrase in order to connect it to the phrase that has come before. Commas are often used after the use of a connecting adverb. So how it is? So uh, there are a number of these connecting adverbs. So here are some of uh, the most common of them. The first one is however, the second is consequently, there's then, next, still. So all these adverbs can be used as connecting adverbs. But how? Let's check it out with some examples. So the first of them, life is hard, however, life can be fun. So here, if we consider this, however, this is the adverb, the connecting adverb and it has been placed at the beginning of a sentence, life can be fun. So here we are connecting these two clauses or these two sentences rather you may say life is hard and life can be fun. So to set up a relation in between them, we are putting a connecting adverb at the beginning of this sentence. So life is hard, however life can be fun so this is our first example we have another example here the market is very difficult these days consequently we need to focus on what works best for our customers so here also we are placing another connecting adverbs and here we must remember that in each and every case we are using a comma after the connecting adverbs and the adverb is placed at the initial position of the sentence there's another my friend Mark doesn't enjoy school. Still, he's working hard and getting good grades. So he's working hard at getting good grades. It's uh, been uh, initiated with this uh, connecting adverb still and there's a comma and this adverb is actually connecting these two sentences. So that's how we may use a connecting adverb at the initial position of a sentence. So let's check out what's waiting for us. Yes, dear friends, it's time adverbs. So how does time adverb is placed in a sentence? We are discussing about initial positions. So time adverbs are also used at the beginning of a phrase to indicate when something should happen. It's important to note that time adverbs are used in a number of adverb placements. Time adverbs are the most flexible of 
all adverbs in their adverb placements. So this is the most important point that we must avoid of the most flexible of all adverbs. So it has flexibility that means it's dangerous we have to take a good care of this. So where do we put a time adverb? Time adverbs are placed at the beginning of phrases. And what is its purpose? Its purpose is to indicate when something should happen. So all these are very important points to remember. Its purpose, its position and also its flexibility. Yes, dear friends, its flexibility is equally important and you have to keep it in notice with equal force and importance. So let's check out what we get in time adverbs. Yes, these are the examples from time adverbs at the initial position of a sentence. Tomorrow, Peter is going to visit his mother in Chicago. So tomorrow, this is the time adverb and it has been placed at the beginning of the sentence. That is the initial position. Sanders I like playing golf with my friends. So it's also in the initial position. There's another. Sometimes Jennifer enjoys a relaxing day at the beach. So sometimes this is also used as the initial, the initial position of the sentence. So it introduces the sentence and also it has a purpose. It's picking up when. So these are the time adverbs which we may use at the beginning of a sentence. Still, we have many uh, other adverbs to discuss up. So let's check out what's waiting for us. Adverb placement, middle position. Yes, dear friends. So far, we have discussed about initial position. Now we are going to discuss the middle position and it's really, really very much important because we we'll learned some extra points here. So keep connected with us went on observing this video till the end and you'd find out many more very very important information regarding placement of adverbs yes so this is the first point focusing adverbs what are focusing adverbs adverb placement of focusing adverbs generally takes place in the middle of a sentence or in the mid position focusing adverbs Put the emphasis on one part of the clause in order to modify, qualify, or add additional information. Adverbs of frequency, sometimes, usually, never, etc. Adverbs of certainty, like probably, certainly, etc. And comment adverbs, like adverbs expressing an opinion, such as intelligently, expertly, etc. So they all can be used as focusing adverbs. So you have to keep in mind these three types of adverbs first. Adverbs of frequency, adverbs of certainty, and comment adverbs. And these adverbs are used as focusing adverbs and they would come in the middle of a sentence. And when the adverb is appearing in the middle of a sentence, there's obviously some other points to remember regarding their placement. So here's the examples. She often forgets to take her umbrella to walk. So if you consider this one often, it has come before the verb. Before the verb in the sentence, which verb main verb because there's only one verb there's only the main verb we don't find any subordinate verb here that's why this is the main verb which is presented by the adverb sam stupidly left his computer at home instead of taking it with him to the conference here also the same thing before the verb i'll certainly buy a copy of his book now if you focus this sentence there's the adjective certainly but here we have by the main verb and also another helping verb sal so adverb must be placed in between the helping verb and the main verb the helping verb and the main verb that means the verb phrase would get parted and there you have to place the adverb yes dear friends there's also a note just look at the note it's very important if you want you may write them down as well because they are going to help you a lot 
and uh, other than that here i would like to share with you another information if you want the notes of these uh, uh, points obviously you would get them in my where yes dear friends you would get them in my telegram channel that is available in telegram in the name shiksha mantra english grammar i would put the link there in the comment section and description so you may find it out there easily and you may visit my telegram channel and subscribe it to get the frequent notifications of everything i do in this channel and also there's another channel where i uh, make review of amazing books so you'd find the notifications of them you might visit that channel as well i would put the link in the description below so there you'd find out different types of books and uh, also the books of much utility so whatever it may be just put uh, your uh, focus now on the note remember that adverbs of frequency are on base list before the main verb rather than the auxiliary verb i didn't often go to san francisco not i often don't go to san francisco you have to put the adverb just before the main verb and the auxiliary verb would come before the adverb so this is the very much important points to remember regarding placement of adverbs we have many more to discuss here so let's see it this is the third position where an adverb may occur this is adverb placement end position so we have told you now an adverb can occur both at the beginning and at the end and there's also the middle that means finally three different position in a sentence where an adverb can be placed they can be placed at the beginning of a sentence in the middle of a sentence and at the end of a sentence so now we are going to discuss about the end position of adverb placement so let's check what's there adverb placement is usually at the end of a sentence or phrase while it's true that adverb placement can happen in the initial or mid position it's also true that adverbs generally are placed at the end of a sentence or phrase here are the three most common types of adverbs placed at the end of a sentence or phrase so let's check them out adverbs of manner yes dear friends in the types of adverbs this one adverbs of manner is really a king and we have to put the adverbs of manner at the end position so its placement is very easy just remember it you have to keep everything in your head yes in your memory store them in your memory and you'd find it very easy to handle so adverb placement of adverbs of manner usually occurs at the end of a sentence or clause adverbs of manner tell us how something is done so examples the first one shushan hasn't done this report accurately this is adverb of manner placed in the end of a sentence then comes shila plays piano thoughtfully this is also adverbs of manner and it has been placed at the end position and this team does his math homework carefully here also carefully is the adverb of manner and it has been placed at the end of a sentence so there comes the second one adverbs of place yes dear friends adverbs of place those usually occurs at the end of a sentence or clause adverbs of place tell us where something is done where so that's the answer would get for adverbs of place now the examples the first one is barbara is cooking pasta downstairs where downstairs so we got the answer of the question where and this is adverbs of place and this is placed at the end of a sentence there comes the second one i'm working in the garden outside where outside that's also adverbs of place and has been placed at the end of a sentence and the third one they will investigate the crime downtown yes dear friends downtown where downtown this is also regarding place and this is also adverbs of place and it's placed at the far end of the sentence yes so we got adverbs of manner and adverbs of place both the adverbs are placed at the end of a sentence and there's also the last one adverbs of time yes dear friends as you know adverb placement that is placement of adverbs of 
time usually occurs at the end of a sentence or clause and adverbs of manner tells us how but adverbs of time tells us when something is done there's the example the first one anji likes the relaxing at home on weekends when weekends so it's adverbs of time and it has been placed at the end of a sentence there comes another our meeting takes place at 3 o'clock this is also when answers when and it's placed at the end of a sentence and the other is prank is having a check up tomorrow afternoon so when tomorrow afternoon this is also adverbs of time and it's placed at the far end of the sentence here dear yes dear friends just remember when you have adverbs of manner adverbs of place adverbs of time you have to place at the end of the sentence that's their placement and that's all for today we have discussed everything regarding placement of adverbs and i want to thank you all for your patience and you may visit my telegram channel and the second channel amazing books subscribe them like them share them and help me to grow my channels only for the purpose of education only for the sake of education only for the promotion of education so we are going to meet once again very soon till then tata stay happy stay healthy